something you guys had asked me in a previous video about the quick sear thing. We started discussing this. Couldn't remember who made it, what exactly it was, but we're talking about the quick sear watch saver. Now it turns out, and this should have been pretty apparent, it's made by Quick Products. You know, duh. Quick Products makes the quick sear. Here is a picture of it for those of you who are watching on YouTube. The QT6000 Quick Sear Watt Saver. And what it says is recently highlighted on the US. This is going to be like a, like we're the best sort of thing. Let's skip down to say how it works. Quick Sear is an innovative and cost effective electronic control that operates in the cooling mode of an existing air conditioner or heat pump. By varying the airflow of the blower motor, Quick Sear Watt Saver provides the best balance of airflow for the conditions in the home. By modulating airflow, the total power draw of the system is reduced. This enhances system performance while providing energy savings and helps lower the high humidity level in the structure to improve, provide improved control. So there, there it is right there. Okay. So I was a little bit curious about this. So I said, I'm going to take a look. You know, we have these instructions here. I know everybody's like, oh my gosh, instructions. There's a lot of instructions. You know, this is the whole form that comes with this thing. And for our people on the podcast, I'm going to kind of read through some of this stuff. This is steps one through six. You have to verify it's a PSC blower. That's what they're for. It's not for use with X13s, even a fixed speed ECM motors. It's for PSC motors. It shows you how to wire it. And basically, you you have three blower taps. And the three blower taps, and we're not going to get into how to wire it here. I'm going to kind of skip ahead a little bit because you can sort of get a little bit of the idea here. No one needs to know how it's mounted where the ground goes, you can you can read that at the time. But this is nice. Number nine on this instruction says, attach the thermistor to the evaporator return bin near the coil inlet. So you have a temperature sensor near the coil inlet that's gonna give you an overall temperature of that refrigerant before it gets superheated. So it is taking a temperature there to make its calculations. So that's kind of cool right there. So it's a cool little board. And like I said, I did put one of these in a long, long time ago. So it's a little bit foggy, but it is taking that temperature. So it knows when that temperature is getting too low and when it's getting too high. So you can change the blower speed based on what that temperature is. For example, if you have a coil, maybe it's way too high. The temperature is way too high. So you slow the blower speed down. So that superheat comes down, the pressure comes down, and therefore the temperature comes down. And maybe you get a little bit better humidity control in that particular instance. There you go. So that might be a good thing. This is my speculation. So I noticed this thing too. It says if equipped with the QT6001 quick sear plus humidity sensor, connect the sensor following those instructions. So it actually has a humidity sensor as well. That's optional, which I think I would want. I would think I would want that. And it shows you how to wire it to. There's the whole thing with the three different speeds. It'll switch between the three different speeds. And as you can see here, and I'll describe to podcast people, it's like a go between between your existing relay and the motor. So instead of sending power directly from the relay to the motor or from the relay board to the motor, you'll actually go into the quick sear and it'll decide what speed the motor runs. So the relay will still tell the motor when to run, but the quick sear will say what speed to run. Yep. Joe says good to flood the compressor. You know, I wish I remembered how this thing did, but that's, that's what it is right there. That's, that's what it does. It takes those temperatures and makes calculations based on that. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist. If you want to see a new video you might not have ever seen before, check out this one right down here. If you want to find out more about the sponsors that make this show possible, you click on this box right here. And of course, if you aren't subscribed, please click here to do so.